Hey everyone, what's up? I just got in the mail a spam can of some ammo and specifically it is 762 by 54 r This is the 140 grain Bulgarian silver tip surplus corrosive ammunition and is the 440 tin. I'll do a separate video on how to read the markings on the tin but for right now I'm just gonna open it and in the packaging I just got the single tin and it didn't come with a can opener so I'm gonna have to figure out how to open this myself and it is sealed extremely well so what I think I'm going to do is try and uh, puncture the metal with using a screwdriver and a hammer and then just cut the metal open using some tin snips so I'll get to work right now. Okay, so I just went ahead and got myself a little screwdriver and I punctured the tin using my uh, mallet and just hitting the screwdriver. The hole isn't quite big enough for the tin snips to get in, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm opening it from the bottom because I want to keep the top intact for videos and so I can put it on display in my room. Oh shit. So I'm just going to get to work on this. It's probably going to take a while so I'll get back to you. Alright, so here's what's going on. This is the biggest pain in the ass ever. I had to cut a hole in the bottom. Uh, these edges are really sharp and I butchered one of the uh, pouches but that's fine. So I'm just pulling these out uh, one by one. You really want to wear some gloves for this because this metal is very sharp and it will cut you. So there are 440 rounds in here. They just keep on coming, don't they? There's a little paper I found. Get a good shot of that. Maybe someone can tell me what that means. That was in there. Is that it? That's it. And then on the top there's a piece of cardboard. Piece of paper with a number on it. And that's it. It's empty now, it's light. So I'll I'll get rid of these rough edges and then I'll be able to keep this for something so they have the top intact. Let's take a look at one of the rounds. Like I said, this is the Bulgarian silver tip 147 grain. Let's see if they can get focused on this. Are there any markings on the bottom of it? Let me take a quick look. It says 10 and 72 on the rim. If that matches with anything here, there's a 10 and there's a 72. So, um, I'll figure out what that means in the future, but here you go. And this cost me $75, and uh, it's a great deal. I'm actually picking up my Mose and Nagant today in a few hours. So, I'll be doing a range video on that soon. Right, let's give you guys a little closer look on how the ammo is packaged. It's packaged in a uh, paper. I could take my gloves off for this. It's packaged in paper. Whoa. Folds over. 
and it's basically just stuck on that little paper box. All of it looks in good condition. And this is the light ball, which is a light steel core. And they are corrosive. Okay, so the 44010 comes with 22 paper boxes of 20 cartridges. And this cartridge is magnetic, which means there is a steel core. I have a little magnetic parts tray right here, and just to show you that it is magnetic, it will hang. Of course, the, the case is sticking too because it is a, a copper washed steel case. So it is magnetic, which means some ranges don't allow this, like some of the ones in my area. So I'm also going to have to pick up some non-magnetic ammo, which is going to be a bit more expensive, but it's worth it to shoot this gun. So uh, I'm getting the Mosin today, so I'll most likely make a short video tonight of it. It has a bit of Cosmoline on it. So I'll have to clean it up tomorrow and make a video of that. So stay tuned, you guys.